name is Zach Johnson and I'm an instructor with Silver Strand Dojo uh, International based out of Lincoln, Nebraska. My area of focus is Aikido. Uh, we're going to be doing a video today that's going to be focused on, uh, focusing on some Aikido techniques that are based on defense against the Boken. Uh, there will be other videos that come out um, in different arts such as Karate, Jiu Jitsu, and Judo and Taekwondo. Um, as I said before, we're going to be focusing against defense uh, against the Boken. Um, Aikido, we practice open-handed so much, and Aikido open-handed is great. There's some very uh, practical techniques that we can use in the real world. Um, but more importantly, uh, it builds a, a good trust between the uh, tore, the thrower, and the uke, the one that falls and receives the technique. Um, oftentimes in the real world, um, fights happen very fast, conflict happens very fast. Um, some of our more complex Aikido techniques, um, they take some time to develop. And the reason that is is because they uh, were designed once uh, in their lineage to be a uh, defense against a sword or a um the boken. So when we do these techniques, these really complicated techniques, um, they take a little bit longer, but uh, the attack with the weapon takes a little bit longer. Uh, in this video, I'll be focusing on uh, three different attacks and three different counters. Uh, the first attack will be a shoman that I'll counter with an arimi nagi. The second will be a, a, a ski or a thrust that I will uh, counter with a kokyo nagi. And the last one is a yokuman cut that I will uh, counter with doing a, a koshi nagi modified. Um, I hope you find these uh, interesting and once again, uh, I appreciate it. Thank you. These series of techniques are ways to defend uh, open-headed against a boken. The first technique is a Rimi Nagi, and we'll be doing this from an attack from Shomanichi, which is an overhead sword cut. To elaborate on the technique, uh, the first thing I'll do is when Uke makes the cut, I move to the outside or to their right hand side. With my hand placement, my right hand comes down as soon as it completes the cut and pushes down on the arms. In that motion, I will turn, placing my right hand underneath Uke's chin. And my left hand in the small of their back, pushing. And pulling up on the chin. Finally, I will complete a 10 can circular movement pulling the chin and pushing the back forcing them to fall. The second technique we're going to work on is from a ski or from a thrust. Uke will be performing a thrust to my chest. In return I'll be performing a kokyonagi movement. First the thrust comes to my chest. With my right hand or left I knock the back of the sword down. And entering into Uke, I take both my left arm in the up position and my right arm in the lower position and push across Uke's chest, causing her to fall in Kokyo Nage. The third technique that I'll be doing is a Koshinagi from a Yokuman strike. As Uke strikes one more time with a Yokuman, I turn my body to meet hers. With my left and my right hand, I match the grip on the Boken. As I do so, I start pulling her arms across my hip and body. 
resulting in her falling. At the end, I disarm and complete the technique. As I was saying before, in the Aikido world, we focus a lot on empty-handed techniques. And a lot of those empty-handed techniques are designed to uh, build a partnership between the Tore and the Uke. Um, but in the real world, it seems like that uh, Aikido can take some time to develop, whether we're doing a, a Shihonagi or we're doing a Riminagi. Um, sometimes those can take a while to develop. Um, when we talk about weaponry, the uh, cut of a sword takes a while to develop, or the strike of a joe takes a while to develop. So a lot of times when we merge these two together, um, we have a real good martial art for defense against weapons. Um, I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, once again, uh, thank you to uh, Silver, Silver Strand Shihan, uh, for Chris and Colin, the guys who filmed this, and to the rest of the students and teachers at Silver Strand Dojo. Thank you.